Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to share with you some of my favorite kind of pastry-esque gourmand fragrances. So gourmands come in lots of different kind of shapes and sizes, but I want to focus in on anything that is like cookie, pastry, pie related. So where they have that baking element, that's what I want to focus on today. So I've got some really awesome ones that I can't wait to share with you. Before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the Weird and Wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community. And let's get into this. Now, I do want to mention, I have a lot of you that ask me what palettes I'm using and what lipsticks and lip liner combos do I do. Uh, I often get those questions. So what I thought I would do is on Sundays... At the end of the video, I will share with you kind of what's on my face as far as like the eyes and the lips are concerned. If you guys want more, um, I'm more than willing to share it. I want to say it rather than write it down because I am terrible at remembering at the end of the day. I switch it up so often that I never know what I've got on. So if I tell you at the end of this video, it's fresh in my mind. So I thought I would do that. So for those of you that are interested on Sunday videos, it will tell you what I'm wearing. And what I wear on Sunday is what is on my face for Tuesdays and Thursdays because I record multiple videos at once. So just thought I would say that now. Onto the amazing, delicious, uh, pastry-esque, baking type fragrances. I've got two that I don't have in my collection that I want to mention first because they came to mind. And then I've got eight fragrances that I currently am uh, working through in my collection. So uh, the first one is not in my collection and it is called Sweetie Oud by Roja. Now the name sounds scary and like I'll have all the notes on the screen so the notes, uh, even in the fragrance, look crazy. Uh, but what I get is bread slash croissant type vibe. So it's got a slight sweetness, but really it's just got, it smells like a croissant to me. Um, it doesn't smell oody. Uh, maybe in the deep dry down, a little bit of an oody feel, but like it's, it's, it's barely there. So it's mainly, it smells like a fresh croissant. And I personally love that smell. I love, like, I love croissant. Croissant, croissant, hoo -hoo, ha -ha. like seriously, I love they're my favorite pastry for sure. I love them with peanut butter and jam. I love them plain. I love them made into kind of a dessert with like a lemon cream and strawberries in it, whipped cream, chocolate sauce, chocolate croissants, all of them. I love them all. So uh, love this one. This one has no chocolate or no major sweetness. I just get kind of a bread type croissant feel and I find it very satiating. So I really enjoy it. It feels kind of homey. Uh, it's not overly long lasting, but I think it's a gorgeous fragrance and it's definitely one I would like to add to my collection. Now the Roja version is of course very expensive. So another option is to go with Dua. I believe that they have an inspired version that's really quite excellent. So that's another way to go if you want kind of that croissant type smell, you'll get it there. The next one that I don't currently have, I think I've got a sample of it somewhere but I just think it's an excellent apple pie fragrance uh, that you definitely get the pastry in is La Danza del Lubalul by Nobile 1942. Now again, uh, the notes don't really reflect what I would think of as pastry. It does have the apple cinnamon, of course, and um, the apple cinnamon is very prominent. For sure, you get that apple cinnamon spice combo. But then as it warms up on your skin, it starts to feel like it's being baked somehow. So with that fragrance, I do get that uh, pastry-esque, but more like a pie crust feel in that one. Beautiful fragrance, quite long lasting. And another one that is uh, has totally won my heart is Soradora's Jani or Yanni. Definitely you get that apple pie cinnamon vibe but this has puff pastry as an actual note. So the other two fragrances, there's no sort of hint towards anything baked. This one has a puff pastry accord, and I certainly get that puff pastry. So when I first put it on the skin, it smells like the apple cinnamon, but very quickly as it warms up on the skin, I get a ton of this delicious, 
delicious pastry. And for me, that's the star of the show. Like that pastry note just really makes this special and awesome. And again, just comforting and delicious. Um, I love pastry. Like I love pastry. Uh, so the fact that I get that puff pastry feel in this, so it almost smells as if it's a, a, a warm, uh, really flaky apple turnover. My mouth is watering. <laughs> But it, that's what it tastes like to me. And I, oh, I just love it. It's so, so good. So Janny by Soradora, excellent fragrance. Well, longevity on this one is just stellar. The projection, fantastic. So I absolutely love this one. Apple puff pastry turnover, like a Danish. <laughs> delicious. The next one that has a pastry vibe to me is Pesh Oyuzu. Now this smells like a peach, a peach Danish as well. So I get the peach, it's mouth watering, like seriously, and Kais perfumes, when they're open, because they're not always open, when they're open, and I have a, a, a decent coupon code for actually quite a few of these, but this one is really decent, and Kais is affordable. This fragrance is so delectable. So it's like peach candy peach. Uh, there's yuzu in this as well. There's, again, no indication in this fragrance that there would be any sort of pastry. But as it warms up on the skin, oh my goodness, it totally smells like a delicious peach pastry. Like I get a pastry vibe and like kind of a crispy pastry with uh, sugar, like sugar granules on it. That's the vibe I get with a delicious mouthwatering kind of candy-esque peach. So like peach preserves, peach jam. That's what I get from this. I just love it. The cool thing about this one is you can wear it all year round. So it works in the winter, it's potent enough, it's gonna stand on its own. You can wear this on its own, you can wear it in the summer, uh, but it also smells just amazing paired with other fragrances. So paired with La Nuit Tresor Nude, which is a uh, coconut fragrance, or uh, Coco Vani. This adds this peach kind of pastry vibe to it that's just stellar. So this is a fantastic fragrance for being able to kind of mix it with others and I absolutely love it. Like love, love, love. Another one that's just delicious is Acro Bake. I just have a small decant of this, it's almost gone. This smells like a lemon curd pastry and I definitely get the pastry. This uh, is delicious. But the Dua version that Val and I just talked about is stellar. So the longevity is amazing on it. You get that bright tart lemon, bright tart but sweet lemon with the pastry. It's just stellar. So that's a really, really fantastic option because it's a lot more affordable too. Uh, Acro Bake is amazing, but the longevity on that Dua one is really, really amazing. We're going to move away from the puff pastry and go more into kind of cakey vibe. So the first one I have for you is EBK's Deep and Desire Yacht. Now this fragrance has like grapefruit, bergamot, grapes, hazelnut, cedar, pink pepper, dark chocolate. I don't get any of that. What I get is a blueberry muffin. <laughs> So I don't know why, but like a lot of these fragrances, I'm like, it smells like a blueberry muffin. It smells like this. It smells like that, even though the notes don't reflect it at all. But for me, I get a blueberry muffin and I just love it. Like I want a full bottle of this. EBK to me is a weird brand because I don't know how to get a hold of them. Uh, they seem kind of a little bit weirdly exclusive. Um, but I love this fragrance. Like, I just think it's fantastic. So this is one I would definitely like to add to my collection. It smells like a juicy blueberry muffin that you just crack open and it's warm. Oh, it, like it smells so good. And somehow, although it's still kind of got that comfort factor, it feels energizing because the blueberry feel in it, which I'm attributing to the grapes. Like if I smell it, oh, okay, grapes. It smells like blueberry to me, but I can get where the grapes come from. Uh, but as as that, like that's so juicy and vibrant with the bergamot and the grapefruit that it feels energizing, even though there's that comfort factor in there. Really, really enjoy this one. Now, I know lots of people love this as a gourmand uh, because it's coffee. It's Coffee Addict by Teodoro Calatini. Um, a lot of people go, oh, this smells like a sweet coffee. To me, 
This is too sweet for even a sweet coffee. To me, this comes across like a coffee cake, which I just absolutely love. So think thick, rich, moist piece of coffee cake. Uh, it's got kind of some cinnamony crumble on the top of it. You crack it open and you're drinking along with your coffee. That's the vibe that I get from this. So um, I don't know, honestly, who could drink a coffee this sweet. And to me, there's just, a, with the spices in there and everything, it, like there's, I think, caramel and whatnot in here. It's got this coffee cake feel to it. Uh, so that's what I get out of Coffee Addict. What about you? Do you get like a sweet uh, dessert like coffee or do you get more coffee cake? Let me know. Next for kind of a cakey type vibe is Bond Number no. 9 New York Nights. Now this fragrance smells like banana nut bread. It does not smell like the notes. Like the notes say it's aquatic, it's this, it's that. For me, it's full on banana nut bread. So I don't know why it smells a little bit nutty. It smells like banana somehow, but baked banana bread. So that's what I get out of this. I find it really comforting and kind of sensual and sexy. Uh, but the cool thing about this one is that you can wear it spring, summer, fall, winter. Like this is, even though it's a gourmand, it's a great year round gourmand. So I love that. Love this fragrance. My last kind of cakey type vibe would be Lyra. Now this is probably the largest departure from really that full on cake feel. Um, I get, I get cake in this for sure. Uh, but it smells like a lemon pound cake. I always think of Starbucks lemon pound cake with this one. Uh, so it, it's super lemony, a little bit tart, even though again, no lemon in this. Um, but then you get that deep kind of pound cake rich feel. And I get like a hint of that lemon icing on it. So that's what I get all the way with this one is lemon pound cake. The last two that I want to talk about first is Giardini di Toscano uh, Bianco Latte. Now a lot of people, when they smell this, they think uh, vanilla ice cream. And I get where they come from. To me, it's like uh, Rice Krispie Squares or Rice Krispie Treats. Uh, I get the vanilla, somehow a little bit of a cereal vibe in this for whatever reason. It smells like baking, but it smells like a crumble or Rice Krispie treats, that kind of thing. Super sweet, a little bit powdery, but it definitely gives me a baking vibe for sure. What about you? Do you smell ice cream, like a vanilla ice cream? Or do you smell more Rice Krispie treats? Leave it in the comments. And my last one, it's a new fragrance to my collection and I absolutely love this one. And it is Chabot Le De Biscuit. To me, this fragrance smells totally like uh, biscuits and milk, <laughs> but mainly biscuit. I get mainly biscuit, but I think of like milk and cookies, that kind of feel, but more of a vanilla cookie. So the notes in this are biscuit, vanilla, and caramel. And that's what I get. Actually, it smells like the golden Oreos. So kind of that golden cookie around like a vanilla icing. That's the feel that I get from Le De Biscuit. Love that fragrance. It's actually a fairly reasonable price to me as well. So I think that's a great option. The thing I love about Le De Biscuit is being able to kind of pair it with lots of other fragrances. So if I wanna make a chocolate fragrance a little bit more cookie, uh, I like to me, this is like cookie. So I, if I want cookie with something, I would just put this on with it. So uh, great from that perspective. This one's really great if you're just wanting to snuggle and feel all cozy. This fragrance is fantastic for that, like in the evening. It's not a major projector, doesn't last very long, uh, but this is a great bedtime fragrance as well from that perspective or sitting on the couch watching TV with your with your significant other. This is a great option, love it. And that is it. Those are my kind of pastry, cakey, baking type fragrances that I'm absolutely loving right now. What about you? What are your favorite kind of baked good, cake, pastry type vibed fragrances right now? Leave it in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And other than that, have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon. I told you guys that I would share my lipstick combo and my palette. Um, at the end of this video. So what I used was Morphe's Truth or Dare palette. And basically it's just a palette of nudes. 
Uh, I used the cooler tones. So I used this one and this one today with a little bit of this in the kind of center to give it a tiny bit of sparkle. But I really kept it very, very uh, plain on the eyes because my lips were a little bit more pinky purple. So on the lips, I used the NYX uh, 836 Bloom Lip Liner and then this Revlon Cream Lipstick uh, 660 Berry Haute. I don't even know if you can get it anymore. I've had the, this for a long, long time. I used a Buxom Gloss in Lavender Cosmo. Um, I love this one. It's got a slightly purpley pink tone. And for me, because I'm so cool toned, I find that most pinks go very warm on me, whereas lavenders tend to like look more pink on me. So that's what I'm wearing for the next two videos as well.